We got a nine-game slate around the NBA tonight. We got two dudes here to talk about. DraftKings contributors Nick Fryer, new to the show this morning. Uh, Matt Meiselman, back on your screen as well. Let's do NBA building blocks, best DFS and sportsbook plays on this schedule. Best guard to build your DFS lineup around. Who's it going to be, Nick? Yes, yeah, so there are a lot of good options, like high price options tonight, but I think for guard, I actually, my favorite play is kind of in that mid-tier range near value at 5.9K going up against the Spurs tonight. I like Io DeSumo a lot. Um, this game has the highest total on DraftKings Sportsbook, and he's put up big numbers in his last couple games. And Levine is out tonight, which leads to a lot of opportunities. I know we don't see you know usage kind of go up a ton for DeSumo in these situations, but in these last two games that he's played, Posted a double double, nearly had a triple double, on, and that was on the second leg of a back to back, too. Uh, Spurs also ranked 25th in DK fantasy points allowed to appoint point, point guards this season. So when I look at the sumo tonight, I feel like he's a guy who has a, a floor of five times value. Uh, Maddie, where are you going here? I'm looking at that same game, actually, and DeJounte Murray no longer has Derek White in his backcourt. Uh, even though he's $11,000, if you look at his last two games, I mean, the price is not even close to what he should be. He's got 144 fantasy points over the last two games. Um, but I just still am down on the Bulls defense. They actually may play better defense with Zach Levine out of the game, but I still think this is a team that's going to struggle defensively. And Murray has this usage bump now with no Derek White. I think this is a game that should be close. And this also could be a slate where it becomes easier later in the day to pay up for guys. We have some questionable players. So, uh, also, if people want to play Jokic and the other more common expensive players, I think Murray might be a little less popular, but this is just a really good matchup and the situation without Derek White really helps.